This is a DOC question from Finite Automata. They are saying that suppose we want to design a synchronous circuit that processes a string of zeros and ones. So the input alphabet will be zero and one both. And then given a string, that automata has to produce another string by replacing the first one in any subsequence of consecutive ones by a zero. Which means if you encounter any subsequence consisting of all the ones such as one 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 triple one and so on then that has to be converted into only the first one will be converted to zero and rest of it will stay the same one zero zero or no this would become zero one similarly the first one will become zero and then rest of them will be remain same so this is what the modification has to be made so they have given an example this is the input sequence and as we can see in this particular character that one has been changed to zero then here we had a consecutive ones in which the first one has been changed to zero while the next one has been retained similarly here we had another sub array of zero in which first has been converted to zero and rest of them are kept as it is so what modification we have to do using this final automata we have to find out a subsequence of consecutive ones and then we have to replace the first one in that with a zero and the rest of them will remain the same so for performing such an operation a mealy machine has to be designed it is a state machine where both the next state and the output are the functions of the present state and the current input so that is the definition of mealy machine which they have given the above mentioned circuit can be designed as a two state milling machine so for performing this particular operation we have to design a two state milling machine in which the states can be represented using boolean values 0 and 1 so they are saying that the given problem can be modeled as a two state milling machine in which the states will be 0 and 1 we denote the current state next state next incoming bit and the output bit using these variables s t b and y respectively then for them the values have been asked so first of all let us design the machine itself and then we will see what are those variables to deal with so as we can see this initial state is zero and from this state if we get the input variable as zero then what we'll do we will stay in the same state and because this is a milli machine and output will be associated with this input which will be written along with it in this particular way but for this state if input is 1 then as we saw that first one has to be converted to a zero so we will go into this state if the input is 1 and we'll convert that to a zero so this will be the transition then coming to this state 1 from here this was the first one and we have already converted this one to a zero so now whatever ones are left if any then they would be left as it is which means there will be a loop in this state and whatever ones are there they will be kept the same and afterwards if from this same state if we get the output as zero then we will go back to the initial state and that zero will be kept as zero itself so this is the mealy machine that will be designed for this problem and now let us come to these four variables so now a mealy machine we have four parameters the current state and that current state is being denoted here by s then we have the input symbol that input symbol is being denoted with this next incoming bit it is b after that we have the output in for output they have used the variable as y and at the end we have the next state for which they have used this t so let us fill out this table from the given machine as we can see the current state is 0 and for that we can have the corresponding input bits as 0 and 1 so these will be the integers in it similarly when the current state is 1 we can have input as 0 and we can have input as 1 so these are the four rows we will have in this table let us fill out it when our current state is 0 and the input symbol is 0 which means 
this current state is zero and the input is also zero then what are we doing we are looping into the same state which means the next state is also zero and what is the output here we can see output is also zero so that is what we get then next is current state is s input is one sorry the current state is zero which means this one and the input symbol is one which means this particular transition will be used and what does it result into it results into the next state being a one and what is the output it is zero similarly when we are in the state one and the input symbol is zero which means the slower transition then the next state is zero and what about the output output is also zero finally when we are in the state one and the input is also one then we go into this particular loop the next state is also one and the output is also one so that is how our table gets filled and now what we have to do we have to find out the corresponding values of t and y in terms of s and b so let us see how that can be done from this table we can see that when these two are zero t is zero when it is zero one then t is one which means this is definitely not an and operation then when it is one zero t is zero for one one t is one so as we can see in b we have zero one zero one in t also we have zero one zero one so we can simply say t equal to b that is the expression we got for t and now coming to the next one which is y as we can see when both are zero y is also zero when it is zero one then also y is zero for one zero also it is zero and only for the last one one it is one so we can say y equal to s and d the other way for doing so would be would have been to create a k map and then check out what are we getting in this way and because there were just two variables so it was not necessary to do so st then we would check out for both t and y respectively by filling out this two cross two k map but it was simple to visualize itself in this way so that is what we did for t we got b and for y we got sb so that matches with this option b so that will be the correct expressions so we'll be going with it